new life lab <laughs> I can't you can't just subtly click also I'm a cheap ass hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome you should subscribe because i make weekly videos so today's video is long awaited because i ordered this stuff back in december and i'm just now making a video on it and i have a lot of thoughts so first i will be showing you my fabletics haul and then i will be explaining to you my experience with the company and their like subscription service and if I would shop with them again. So let's just jump right into it and I'm already wearing one of their tops. So this is the Lydia Shine built-in bra tank in size small and I got it in the color blue. So if you don't have a subscription this costs $60 but if you do I got it 80% off and it was only $12. So you can see in the try on video that I did add in my bikini pads in the top because honestly the built in bra is not enough coverage so if I don't have it you can like see everything and it's just not a good look. And I actually was going to return this top originally but I'll get into that. I kind of forgot to return all of my stuff so now I'm stuck with it. And my solution was adding in this bikini padding and I think I would wear it to the gym now that I fixed that problem. Now, do I think it's a good deal for $12? Yes, I think it's really flattering. I really like the color, but for 60, no, I would not pay that much for this top. Next up, we have the Tegan Muscle Tank in size small, and the color is silk. So this one would be $40 if you don't have the VIP, but it was only $8 with the discount that I got. So this is kind of made out of like, it reminds me of those pennies that you would wear in gym class <laughs> in high school. Um, it's interesting. It's definitely like light and airy. It kind of gets staticky sometimes. And the way that I like wearing it is how they showed it online where you just do that knot in the front. Um, I think it looks pretty cute that way, but it definitely is pretty see-through as you can see. So whatever sports bra you're wearing underneath, that's what you're gonna see through the shirt pretty much. So would I pay $40 for this? No, but $8, yeah. I think that's worth the price. Next up, we have the Talia Seamless Tank. So this is in size small and the color Phantom. So this one also was originally $40 and I got it for $8. I actually really like the material of this one. I feel like it's nice and silky. And then in the back, it's like this weird, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's kind of like a textured feeling. Um, but yeah, it fits really nice and smooth and I tied this one up the same way that I tied the last shirt on. Uh, yeah, I think for $8, that's a good deal. Again, would I pay $40? No, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't pay $40 for any shirt, so. All right, enough of the tops. Next up, we have the Oasis high-waisted leggings in the 7 8th length. So these fit pretty much like full length on me because I'm only 5'4", so don't really have that long legs. So I got these in a size small and they are pretty compressive on me. I did have to like pull and tug to get them up. I think I've just been like used to wearing my Lululemons and my dupes and those just slide right on. So yeah, these ones, I did have to tug and pull a little bit to get them on and these also have pockets in the side which I actually really like and I like how the pocket like curves like this it's not just like straight across and also on the back it has this really nice like indent line to kind of like accent your butt so that's pretty cute and these would originally be $70. So for VIP, they had a deal where you could get leggings and any pants for two for 24, which would be a really good deal, but I didn't end up getting the other pair of pants that I wanted. So just alone, these were $14. But honestly, for $14, I feel like it is worth the price for these leggings. And again, $70, would I pay that? No, I wouldn't for these. I would rather just pay the extra like 20 or 30 bucks and get a pair of Lululemons. So next up we have the Cozy and Knot headband. This is in the color Sand Dune and this was originally $16.95, but I got it for $3.40. So I don't really wear headbands often, but I did see one of my coworkers wearing pretty much the same headband in a different color. She might've gotten it from Fabletics. Um, but yeah, she was wearing it on a Zoom call and I really thought it was nice, especially for like greasy hair days. 
just, you know, put all your hair back for video meetings and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, $3.40. I think this was a good deal. But yeah, no, I wouldn't have paid $17 just for a headband. And lastly, we have the Solidarity mask. So this is in the color iron. And this was originally $7.95, but I got it for $1.60. So I just wanted another mask and I thought $1.60, not a bad deal. I do think it's like really big on my face. Like it covers my entire face. I don't how to explain that but yeah i don't know if i like this mask um i haven't worn it since i got it and that was back in december so yeah now let's get into my experience with fabletics so i saw they were having a really good deal end of the year or it was just like before christmas type deal and i wanted to check it out see what they were all about so december 3rd is when i made my order and keep in mind i ordered a lot of stuff and I will show you guys right here, but I did not receive all of it. So we'll get right into that. So yeah, December 3rd, that's when I became a VIP and I placed my order. And then on December 7th, they told me it was shipped. So on the 8th, it said it would be arriving the very next day. But on December 11th, so three days later, I got an email saying that my order arrived, but I did not see that email. <laughs> and so weeks go by. And then finally on the 23rd, I checked my emails because I was wondering where the heck my package was. And I just thought, well, it's before Christmas. Maybe they're just taking a while. But then I saw that they sent me that email. And then I started panicking because I never received any sort of order in the mail from Fabletics. And so I was checking the cameras on that day that they said it arrived and I did not see any package that came. So, so it didn't get stolen, but maybe it was delivered to my neighbor's houses. So I checked in with my neighbors, but they never received any order. So I called Fabletics and they told me to call, I think it was UPS. They told me to call them, check in to see what happened. Maybe it was a missing package. So lo and behold, I called them and it turns out they could not find my package, but nobody ever called me to update me that they couldn't find it. And so I called back Fabletics, tell them what happened. So they told me that they would reship out the stuff that they currently had in stock. But the thing was, I ordered stuff that was highly in demand, like the velour jacket and then the flared pants with like the slit in the side. So they could only resend me a few of the items, which is what I showed you right now, which was really upsetting. I was really looking forward to that jacket, to be honest. And so five days later, my order was finally delivered. But I didn't really like the top that I'm currently wearing or the mask. So I wanted to make a return but with Fabletics policy, pretty much you'll get charged like a fee, but they tell you it's actually you just paying credit to your membership that you can use every single month, but you'll get charged that on the 6th of every month, which is $50 if you don't skip that month, but you have to do it between the 1st and the 5th of every month. So it's kind of confusing. So yeah, I called them and I asked for a return label and they told me since I was making a return that I should just get my membership and not cancel it yet just in case something happens. I don't really know what would have happened, but I think just like liabilities and stuff like that, it would have been easier if I was a VIP member. Sorry about that, my camera died. But back to my rant. So pretty much I feel like the average person doesn't actually want to subscribe to the service where they have to spend at least $50 every single month on Fabletics clothes. I feel like the average person is kind of like what happened to me, where they were having a deal, they wanted to get the good prices, so then they signed up to this VIP program, and then they figured, hey, I'll skip it next month. Lo and behold, what happens with every single subscription service? And yeah, you should probably set a reminder. But even then, something might come up where you have to return stuff, and then they tell you don't cancel the subscription. And also, you can only do it uh, via phone. So you have to call them, and then you have to wait on a really long line to be able to talk to someone and they ask you like three different times if you're sure that you want to cancel. Also, my other thing is, is anyone really paying full price for these products? Like, would someone really want to pay 60 
$40 for just one of these like workout tops that you can go and like get an actual Lululemon top for that price. I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like they're trying to get everyone onto this VIP thing and we're all sucked into it and they're just like profiting off of people forgetting to cancel their subscription and then lo and behold 12 months goes by and oh you didn't use your credit the money that you put in so now you can't get that back. I'm just not a huge fan of that setup. I know that Savage Fenty has like a similar setup and there's been quite a few videos that have come up that are kind of like calling that type of like business model out saying it's like kind of like scammy and they're just like hoping that people forgot to cancel their membership pretty much and that's how they make their money. And yeah I wouldn't pay full price for the Fabletic products that I got. I just think the quality isn't that good where I would be willing to drop that much money on it. So yeah those are my full thoughts on Fabletics. Do I appreciate the $8 workout top that I just got? Yes, but do I think anyone would actually pay full price for their products so they just end up getting the VIP membership and then they get a lot of people get scammed, forget to cancel? Yeah, I do think that happened. Would I buy from them again? Honestly, I don't think I would. I would just buy off the other dupes that I've reviewed or I don't know, just thrift workout gear or find it somewhere else. I don't see Fabletics being my like go-to or another place that I purchase from in the near future. So yes, there's my rant. Sorry I just went off you guys. But I feel like people need to know the full truth about this company before they actually like buy from them. And I think for me, I only ended up getting like a few products anyways, and it was gonna be a one-time thing. But like, let's try it out because I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube kind of just like talking down about Fabletics. I wanted to see it for myself, but this was my experience with it. Not a great one. I know it wasn't their fault that my package went missing, but it definitely put a damper on my experience. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be doing another collection video and then like another thrifting haul soon. So if you wanna see those, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.